Hey everyone, it's your host here, Paladin Handsome, back at it again with another video, and we're coming to you not live, but pre-recorded and heavily edited, and today we're going to be doing another unboxing video. And this is not a Christian book, or a Christian publication. Uh, well, it is a Christian book, the Torah is part of the Bible, but and the Tanakh, but this is from a non-Messianic company, Jewish company, very profound, very famous within the non-Messianic Jewish world and that is art scroll as you can see with the box so we're going to showcase to you guys this unboxing video and today i just got the box in i got here a key to a car because it's so lightly packaged that i feel like i could just use a key so let's see if it's sharp enough Nope, I'm an idiot. Can't do it. Eventually. Alright guys, to open this box, here I have a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Love this, love this blade. And we're just going to open it carefully and gently. All right, we got that out of the way. Let's take this out, see if we cut it up enough. Whoa, that's a large and in charge. Let me guys show you what I just uh, opened up here. It's like a can of worms. This is ridiculous. All right, everybody, I have this massive box here and here is Masora Art Scroll Publications. We're gonna toss it. And we got a bunch of wrapping uh, bubble thing. Like, well, not really bubble wrap, but kind of large bubbles. We're gonna toss that too. And then, more. And more. All right, everybody. We're gonna get this large package out. Wow, this is heavy. It's got to be at least 15 pounds. Art Scroll Mas Masora Publications, as you guys can see. Alright, so what did I get? Well, I got the family kit unit from Masora Art Scroll Publications. And I got a Tanakh, a Chumash. I got a Sitter. I got a few other publications. And it tells me, all right here, in the... Essential library kit from Art Scroll. So this is the starter kit for an essential, an essential Jewish library, or at least a uh, non-Messianic Jewish library, a non-Christian library. Here we have a little hole right here, so we don't even have to use a key or a knife or anything. But, let's take this apart. This is going to go great with my Hebrew collection. If you guys seen my other Hebrew video, those were more Christian-oriented uh, Hebrew publications. Besides the JPS Tanakh, but this is 100%, uh, you know, what you'll find in Israel-type Talmudic Jewish. So here is a five-part or four-part series. A four-part series of the family... Zemuros. All right, so we have the family Zemuros. Zemuros, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is the first thing out of the family kit, the essential library kit for a Jewish family. This is what you're going to find in most Israeli households is an art scroll, most likely. And the family Zemuros. This is meals and hymns, songs that you would do after the Sabbath or after the Sabbath meal, to be more precise. And you can look all this up on the Art Scroll Library, and it says, for the fifth one, the classic family Zamoros, grace after meals. Yeah, right, so exactly what I said. Sabbath songs, translation and commentary by Rabbi Nasson Sherman, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right, but this is the family Zamoros four-part kit. And 
wasn't my main thing I wanted to get, but I'll read them. And it does have Hebrew and English, so I can practice more on my Hebrew. Which is the whole point of why I actually got these, because I love Hebrew. No, I am not Jewish. Alright guys, here is the Tehillim. This is in a hardback. As you can see, there's one ribbon I have yet to take out. Uh, this was the second book or collection that I picked up out of the family kit, the essential library kit from Art Scroll. And this is the Schottenstein, so the Schottenstein edition. I can't even pronounce that right. Hopefully, I'm uh, I'm trying my best out here. But it's again part of the Art Scroll series. It's in Hebrew and it's in English. So again, very large font. Paper quality is immaculate. Very smooth paper. Sewn binding. The bindings are sewn. This is going to last you really generations. This Tehillim. It's just all the Psalms in Hebrew and in English. Very large font. Very helpful tool. Very nice publication. I keep saying very a lot. More prayer sides, which is the expanded Art Scroll Sitter Wasserman edition. And this is neat because this is all about a prayer book. So this is like the Jewish prayer book right here is this right here. If you want to get into a Jewish uh, prayer book, this is it, the sitter. And so this is the Wasserman edition, the expanded edition. And this is the epitome of a Jewish prayer book. I'm surprised there's no ribbons, right? So I'm surprised there is no ribboning here, which is kind of weird. I would expect there to be ribbons. However, we have commentaries, we have translation, we have Hebrew, all, all in one. English, Hebrew, commentaries from uh, rabbis, from their, their Talmudic rabbis, which I don't agree with as an Eastern Orthodox Christian, but it's good to have their material to know what they say. Now this is wrapped. Here's the Passover Haggadah. This is all about Pesach and how to do that service. Now it's still in a wrapping, so I'll have to unwrap this one. So we'll save this one for last, this Passover Haggadah. And then this one, we'll save this one for second to last. Uh, let's get this out. Here's, here's Tanakh. That is Tanakh, which is just Torah. Uh, Nevaim and Ketuvim. So, very cool. Prophets and writings, Torah. This is black one, hardcover, very thick, very sturdy. I already can tell this is of quality. I really like the cover. It's a uh, very sturdy hard hardback. And here we have unwrapped a Chumash. Stone edition, Chumash. So, if you guys can see here, here's a stone edition Chumash. Absolutely beautiful. This is just Torah. Is there ribbons? Yes. We get two ribbons. Absolutely magnificent. I just want to open up first page. What's the first page we're opening up to? Hopefully everything's fine. Pages look a little weird. But uh, I'm not used to this layout. It smells like frankincense. That's very weird. Their books smell like frankincense. The Torah smells like frankincense. That's neat. Um, but we're at Bamidbar, Numbers. And so here we're at Numbers and Bamidbar. So Bereshit, Shemot, Vayikra, Bamidbar, uh, Devarim, Devarim. So that is the five books of the Torah. And... English, we would say Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. They would say uh, in Hebrew, Bereshit, Shemot, Vayikra, Bamidbar, Devarim. So that's what you would say in Hebrew. And so we're opened up here on Bamidbar in Numbers. And I'm going to close it up because this is just an unboxing review, not a... Uh, a full-on review, but there is a 
sticker on here, an ISBN number. However, I wish they didn't do that. Now I gotta scratch that off and it mars the covering. Now, let's unwrap the Tanakh. The Tanakh here is just sitting, waiting to be unwrapped. A few moments later. There we go. Alright, so, now, we have a homash and a Tanakh. Let's get this wrapping out of the way. We got a Tanakh unlocked. And I thought at first that they have, they used to do uh, gilding at the top of the art gilding, at, at the top, but I guess they don't do that anymore. There's no top uh, gilding, uh, no gold gild. Uh, let's look at the Chumash. Oh, it's just for the Chumash. Just for the, uh, just for the Chumash, they have the top. Right, if you look at the sides, they don't do gilding on any of the other sides. Just the top they do gilding. Which is interesting. And of course, Hebrew reads right to left. So, the book's gonna open up, the book's gonna open up this way first. And... You're going to be reading right to left. The book's going to open up this way, so it's not left to right how we would in English or many Western languages. And I have it in a black cover here, and it is in Hebrew, English, and then it has commentaries from people like Rashi, which are important rabbis within the Talmudic Jewish community. We do have one measly ribbon for this. Tanakh. And, yeah. <laughs> so we do have one measly little ribbon for this large book, but I'm expecting that they expect you to put your own ribbons in, and a lot of people do that anyways. And then finally we have this Passover Haggadah here. Let's get this unwrapped. Alright guys, we have this here. There is a little hole in here, so we're just going to kind of rip it off and take it off. For the Haggadah book, hopefully it kind of just rips apart. Oh yes, strength. The Passover Haggadah, it's in a nice smooth hardback cover. I think Art Scroll has amazing paper quality. I'd have to say that none of the paper or the books that I've come across have bad paper quality. All of the quality of these paper or these books are incredible and very very nice so here is the Passover Haggadah the Pesach Haggadah here is your Tanakh classic Tanakh everybody loves a Chumash who doesn't love a Chumash I love Torah we have here a classic Jewish prayer book, the Siddur. Everybody wants a Siddur, don't we? And sometimes you just need the Psalms just by themselves. So here's the Tehillim. And then the Zemeros. If I can reach for it, I'm trying to juggle both of my hands. But this is all of the family kits. So one, two, three, four, five, six different books in their Art Scroll Essential Library Family Kit. This is the starter pack for a Jewish library. I highly recommend that you pick this up if you're interested in learning more about uh, Rabbinical Judaism, non-Messianic Judaism. It's just an interesting lens and it will help you learn Hebrew. You can see how in the, the cover of the book they have a Torah and you can see I believe it is the Ten Commandments in Hebrew and they have it in a very ornate covering. It's actually quite nice. And again, here is the Book of Psalms, the Tehillim. Very nice covering as well. As you can see, there's even some sort of a grainy type texture look. Of course, when you feel it as well, there's even a bit of grain. I don't know if you can hear this, but there's even texturing with this hardback. So this is quite a nice hardback. And what I've noticed is that each of them have their own special coverings. So here's the Siddur book with two lions.
Here's the Tanakh with a crown. As you can see, the Tanakh has a crown. And then the Passover Haggadah, the Pesach Haggadah, this is using a more modern, a more modern cover, which is smooth and glossed over, and it's using a manuscript, a Hebrew manuscript, and as well, it's just very nice. It, I can't wait to read this. It's a major upgrade from some other uh, publications I had that were Jewish that were about the Passover Haggadah that I don't recommend. Um, and that one is... I do not recommend you get this one. This is... I picked this up at Barnes & Noble. This is a very heretical book. It was like very left-wing, secular, supporting of LGBTQ and all of that heretical nonsense, which is really, really weird. So I don't like this one. It even says, an ancient story for modern times. That's just a red flag, okay? That's just a red flag right there. Yeah, so I'm excited to glean into all this material, especially the commentaries from the rabbinical teachers of the Talmud and seeing that lens of how you guys interpret the scriptures and then I can compare that with the church fathers, I can compare that with other Christian writers uh, whether it be Protestants, Roman Catholics or Orthodox and then I can also look to the Islamic bent, the Islamic view and look to their material. For my future apologetics and polemics work I plan on using polemics with Christianity and apologetics, but two of the things I want to engage with is non-Messianic Judaism and as well as Islam and Mormonism. So three religions that I kind of want to dabble in and you know show them the gospel. All right, so we have a Chumash, Stone Edition Chumash, we have a Stone Edition Tanakh, we have the Pesach Haggadah, we have the Siddur, we have the Tehillim, the Psalms, we have the Zemeros, we have this, so this is for grace and meals after the Sabbath table and all that. And so we have it all. We have everything. This is exactly what you need to get started. Even by Art Scroll's own selling points to get started, this is everything you need to get started in non-Messianic Judaism or Talmudic Judaism, that bent of Judaism that we typically see most familiar with in Israel, right? So, uh, Christians are the fulfillment of Judaism, but for my polemics work, again, I like to study the non-Messianic side and see their heresies, essentially.